Yeah, shares of Lowe's are moving higher, not lower, and Home Depot marginally lower as Loop Capital upgrades both stocks to buy today. The firm raising its estimates for both companies on the back of an easing rate environment. Uh, this also marks the first time since 2021 that Loop has upgraded either stock. Joining us now uh, to discuss is the analyst who made the call, Laura Champagne. She is director of research at Loop Capital, senior consumer analyst. Uh, Laura, welcome. Good to have you with us. Um, it has been a long time since you've made any moves on either of these stocks, so you must feel a pretty compelling argument on both of them. Yes, thanks for having me. Uh, the The timing of our call is obviously about seeing the first easing of, of interest rates. Mortgage rates, we think, over time will move lower. But we look at the past couple of years and some big categories like appliances, flooring, mattresses. You've seen unit declines over that period, similar to 08, 09. So I don't think that rates are going to plummet and you'll see massive demand. I do expect things to get better next year and for an easing Fed to be part of that story. We're looking at a chart here of a five-year performance of Home Depot versus Lowe's, and Lowe's has outperformed it by a considerable amount. Do you th think that outperformance will continue for Lowe's, or do you have a, do you have a favorite one here? So I think part of what drove that outperformance was Marvin Ellison, who is now six years into his tenure at Lowe's, and he's helped them close the gap on a lot of performance metrics, notably margins. I'm excited, though, about Home Depot's recent acquisition of SRS, which lets them go after a complex pro that's doing roofing, landscaping, mm -hmm. pools. I think that'll actually inflect HD's growth higher over the, the next five years, and we prefer at this moment Home Depot to Lowe's for that reason. Interesting. Clear answer. Thank you. And we actually checked in with Home Depot last hour, Laura, on the way they're prepping for uh, the hurricane. They have um, you know, equipment going down. They're trying to have supplies at the ready to open stores and, and rebuild. Uh, what's the typical kind of pattern like in terms of uh, they have to close, the storm hits, they might get a bit of uh, Russian demand afterwards, to, and, and they've seen this with Helene as well. So right now you're seeing disruption, which I'm sure they called out, and it's cost disruption because they're trucking things all over the place, and, and that leaves shortages in other stores, and it, it's expensive to service customers in the middle of these storms. Over the next nine months, you could see a lift of up of one to three percentage points of sales for this company as insurance payments start rolling through, especially some of the damages from Helene, which were more water storms. Th that work needs to be done soon um, or it just it just gets worse. So I would expect a lift, obviously not this month. But these national players like Home Depot, like Lowe's, are very well positioned to help people rebuild and repair the damage that they're likely so to see. So it's a long-term positive for them, but not something that happens quickly at all. Doesn't happen quickly because most consumers can't pay out of pocket for these repairs. They have to wait for the checks to come in. Uh, we're hopeful that, that those will be expedited. Uh, I think for the water damage, it likely will be when sometimes the insurance companies will drag their feet. Laura, thank you very much. We appreciate your uh, clarity today. You bet. Thank Laura you. Laura Champagne. Uh, yeah.